In this video, we're going to show you to install the camshaft position sensor on your Infiniti G37X, located on the front portion of the engine. Underneath the hood, you're going to locate the battery cover on the passenger side. You're going to press up on this little tab here, and then one on the other side, and remove this cover. Using a 10 millimeter wrench, we're going to go ahead and loosen the nut on the ground terminal. And we should be able to spin this terminal and slide it off and set it aside. Now here we have our front side of the engine and we have our two cam sensors. There's one here on the front driver's side and there's one on the left hand passenger side right here. Now this job can be performed with the engine cover on. It is easier to do with it off gives you more light and accessibility to it. So here, we need to replace our driver side sensor. There's just a tab on the back of the connector. You wanna pinch that tab and wiggle this off. Sometimes it can be stuck, so you can use a screwdriver or a trim tool, and you're gonna press in on this tab and just gently slide that connector off. Now right here is a 10 millimeter bolt. I'm gonna use my quarter inch ratchet and a deep 10, loosen that. We are gonna be reusing this bolt, so don't lose it. Now in most cases, you can take that sensor, twist it, and then grab a hold of it and just gently wiggle that out. That's secured in there using a rubber O-ring. Before we install our new component, you wanna make sure that this is all clean. I'm gonna use a clean towel here, wipe out the port as well as the outer portion. We wanna make sure that that surface is clean of any debris. Now, before we install our new component, I'm gonna take a little dab of engine oil. I'm going to rub it on this O-ring. It's gonna make it a little bit easier for this to slide into place. Line that up and simply push that in. Good, twist that in, make sure it's seated fully all the way around. Go ahead and grab that bolt, line it up. I'm going to start that by hand and thread it down as far as you can. I want to gently snug this down. So once that bolt bottoms out, just give it a little bit more. Give that a wipe down. Grab that connector. I'm just going to line that up on the top. Slide it on. Push it on. You can feel it and hear it snap into place. Then you're going to repeat this process for the passenger side. Line up the front on the two studs, and then install your hardware. Get everything started by hand first, and then we'll come back and snug them down. Install the negative terminal. Snug down the nut here. You do want to make sure that the nut is good and snug. Don't over tighten this because you can crack the clamp. Give that a good wiggle, make sure it doesn't spin on the post. Grab the cover, install the three tabs on the back side of the tray first. Press down the front, snapping the cover into position. Now that you have this all set here, if you happen to have any check engine lights on on the dash for those sensors there, you want to go ahead and clear those codes, take it for road test. At that point there, you should be all set. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.